Hey, Campbell Corner time from Pioneer 90.1. Hello, Campbell Corner lady. How are you? <laughs> Hello, radio gentlemen. It's the one, the only Charlotte Helgeson, the director of Campbell Library. Well, here we are in April, and it's still a bit chilly outside. You're wearing a sweater oh, today. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a scarf and mittens. <laughs> and a ski mask, which is pretty darn good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, lots of things to talk about today, including a really big deal this weekend. What's that? It's the book sale, springtime. Of all book sales, this is the book sale. And it's always a good idea to have a few purchased books in your storage somewhere when you go to the lake or you go on vacation and the book may not get back to the library. Has that happened before? You know, it, it, it's interesting the things that can happen to books. Uh, I, I remember the, the book that someone had to come in and pay for because she'd set it on the deck railing and a tree fell on it at the lake <laughs> and a tree fell on the dock right 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 on the deck on the deck on the deck of the house yes okay and the book fell in something well it was under the tree and there was rain oh, and I all see. of that that oh. went along with it and okay. so the book didn't survive the lake sometimes if you're sitting out next to the water splashing on your feet might not be the best place no, for a library no. book so the book sale is on Friday, Yep. Saturday, and Sunday. Right. And the hours are when? Same as the hours that are open for the library, so 9 to 5 on Friday. Okay. 10 to 2 on Saturday, noon to 4 on Sunday. And again, Sunday is a special day because that's the end of the sale, and uh, you want to move those books, right? That's right. So is that big bag sale still and planned? you get a bag and you fill her up. Really? Mm -hmm. Like a big grocery bag? Yeah. Wow. For how much? <laughs> I believe it's $5, as many books as you can put Is in. Is that it. it? Yes. $5. And I tell wow. you what, I have seen some very stuffed bags go mm -hmm. out the door on Sundays. The seams are just stretching out, yeah. All mm -hmm. right, that's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and that's sponsored by the Friends, right? Yes, the Friends, right. the volunteers will be there helping you find just the right book. And uh, the proceeds go where? It goes back to the friends, which mm -hmm. then support the library. It's a win-win deal. All over the place. You get the books, you get the reading material, you get to help the uh, library recycle money. It's, uh, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's wonderful. So again, that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And again, bag day is on Sunday. Right. Now the next topic, there's an exhibit ending at the end of April, and we talked about this earlier, Canopsia. 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 I was close. <laughs> you were very close. I was close. What is canopsia? That is that absence of sound and life oh, yeah. in a place where yeah. you expect it to be. Yeah. So it's, it's a void that gives you time to stop and think. And like if you, now. Right. <laughs> there you go. Silence in this place I is would. unique. I was thinking, yes. <laughs> There are pictures up right now that you really need to pause and think about. You wonder why she took that picture, why that person is in that position or have that item. or They're worth pausing and considering. So these are photographs? These are photographs by Emma Katka. Okay. And mm -hmm. she's from the area? East Grand Forks. East Grand Forks. And that's up until the end of April. Right. Okay. Number three. You need something here. It says local oh, authors and musicians. That's right. Why? When we have our art exhibit openings, we try to have an author and a musician participate. And very often people will come up and say, oh, my uncle just wrote a book or, you know, sister has just learned how to play the harp and she's part of this group. And we usually have kind of a running list going on. It's very short right now. Really? And that's unusual for us. So I just want to let people okay. know that don't think that we have so many people lined up that mm -hmm. we can't add your name. We really want to know what kind of talent is in this area. So if you're an author in the area and you want to have your books uh, promoted, right? contact Campbell. Yes. If you're a musician and you want to promote your music, contact Campbell. That's right. If you want to play music during a book signing, Contact Campbell, <laughs> right? Contact the library yes. if you have any kind of unique skill that you want to share with people. It's amazing what we can put out there to people. It's not just the arts. 
It could be the sciences. It could be that you have a really interesting expertise in a subject that we've never tapped. Really? Come talk to us. I can gargle the national anthem. Would that qualify? It would qualify. I'm not sure we'd book you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Oh, I thought Just I'd saying. Ask. I mean, you, you okay. could go on the list. <laughs> if you're really desperate, put me at the bottom of that list. Oh, my goodness. Okay, number four. Oh, summer reading. Oh, this is April. We're talking summer here? Oh, we're, oh my at, goodness. we're trying to be real hopeful, yes. We have the information yeah. put together. We have people signed up. We have programs lined up for the summer. May 1st, you will be able to sign up your children for those events. Not until May 1st. So don't try and come in and say, well, just we want to save a room for this right. child or we only want them to attend one certain week. We're yeah. not ready for that. Okay, don't do that. And I know school is going to end early for the public school this year, and there might be parents scrambling a bit, but yeah. we are not starting early because not all schools are getting out early. Okay, sign up again begins May 1st and not before. That's right. For summer reading. Yep. Now, in the past, we talked about the program over the summer in reading and encouraging uh, young people to read. And I can recall some different, I won't call them gimmicks, that's the wrong word for it, <laughs> techniques techniques uh to promote that there was one year there was uh, a passport that was used ah right? yes to keep track a couple years ago that's yeah. right that's right and we okay. will try to encourage children to keep track we always have this discussion this time of year and it has been going on at the library mm -hmm. do we count pages do we count minutes do we count books do we count at all do we want to add a little bit of competition? Do we want to just encourage children to read for the sake of reading? You can see where there will be a lot yeah. of people that will drop into each of those camps. Mm -hmm. And then it, it also helps the parents keep track if their kids are keeping track. Again, sign up begins, not before, only on May 1st. There right. you go. Let's see. That's uh, one, two, three, four topics. Our fifth and final topic on this Wednesday, uh, your final Family Nature Night is coming up uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And that's uh, co-sponsored by Campbell and the University of Minnesota Crookston. Is that right? That's right. And you've had, what, four so far? Three or four? Oh, Something no. Like I that? think we've probably had at least five. Is that, that many? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the uh, theme for tomorrow night, mammals wearing furs. <laughs> Bananas in pajamas. No, 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 not bananas, mammals. Well, oh, I'm sorry, I, and furs. Yeah. Mammals and furs. You, well, they're wearing furs. I was going to say, you may not be completely off on no, that statement, yeah, yeah. but I think there might be some furs there that may not be being worn. No. Okay. There might be furs there that may not be worn by someone at yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. So these are mammals from our area, right? That's Th right. This is to emphasize nature in our area yes. meaning northwest minnesota these are future naturalists yes that's what they're studying there right and i talked to two of them on the phone that was fun wasn't it? a couple it? weeks ago yeah they're really enthused about uh, what they know and they have been so much fun and people love it and every week there's more and more so this oh, good more people attending yes this will be the last week this mm -hmm. is your last chance. All right. And it's always discouraging when someone says, oh, I missed that. Yeah. I wanted to come, and I didn't get there. So. All right. Open to everybody, the entire Open family. Open to the entire family. Come on in, 6 till 7 tomorrow. And again, the uh, topic tomorrow, mammals and furs. There you go. And to find out more about the Campbell Public Library of downtown East Grand Forks, what can listeners do, Charlotte Helgeson? They could give us a call at 218 Seven seven three nine one two one. They can check out the website at egflibrary.org. Yeah, sure. Or they can come in and visit and just take a look, see at what we have. Yeah, doors are open. That's right. Very good. Thank you. You are welcome. Campbell Corner Wednesdays just after three, exclusively Year Seven on Pioneer ninety point one.